Smart People is about the possible neurobiological basis of racism. I read an article about scientists who study race through brain imaging, and that was sort of the, oh my God, that wants to be a play. Fundamentally, it's a play of ideas, you know, and the interpersonal relationships uh, that emerge within this play of ideas are, are really exciting. It's how our friendships and romantic pairings intersect as that study comes to a head. There's love, there's uh, identity crisis, there's sort of self-discovery, and you can imagine that there's, there's arguments. It's about race as it affects our everyday lives. Um, it's about the nuances, the intricacies, the big themes, and then how they trickle down into our lives as um, individuals. It's a very funny play, and I don't want people to think, oh my god, it's this academic play about racism, and it's not funny. It's very, very funny. Lydia is hilarious. You're not only going to experience comedy, you're also going to be part of the comedy yourself. You're gonna get a, things that you laugh at and then you're like, oh my gosh, should I have laughed at that? And then you're looking around like, okay, wait a minute, I don't know what you're laughing at. Or yeah, girl, I know, it's funny. So it's very, very smart in that way. Lydia is such a great writer. It's so cool to have her uh, in the room. She really enjoys watching us bring her stuff to life and she's so giving and so generous. And so that part is really, really cool. It's a blessing how smart her writing is. I think in many ways we have to rise to the intelligence of the piece and um, that's a beautiful challenge to have. It's an amazing collaboration because she's totally open to trying new things and so it's a really living process. It couldn't be a safer place to, to uh, premiere a play and I feel so embraced by the community and the institution and I get to work with my friend Peter who I happen to think is a genius but with whom I, I laugh like sometimes an 11-year-old girl. <laughs> Peter Dubois is a rock star. He is so skilled at working with uh, in new plays with the writer and the actor so that we all feel like we're uh, part of the creative process. He's also obviously got this eye for, you know, blocking in transitions and the slickness of how this play is going to go. I mean, it's crazy transitions and visual splendor. It's a fun, fun evening. It's fast, it's very witty, it's smart, but it also uh, is provocative and makes you think. I think the city of Boston should come and see smart people because it challenges you. It's in your face, time's in your face. And I just think it's so important for people to come out and see that and to have a dialogue around it. I don't want the audience to get anything that I want them to get. I want them to get what they get. I have a desire to point out a conversation that has to happen. Um, and, and should happen around the edges of funny and sexy. Smart people who are attractive, what, you know, at the Huntington, so.